welcome back to Gershwin Woodcraft. And today we're doing a special edition where we're stepping out of the workshop and coming up to Big Bear Lake to do a little kayaking. And I'm gonna teach you how I made one of these. The folding kayak, it was, it was started in 1950, created by a retired engineer and then adopted by the Boy Scouts of America as one of their projects. So if you go online and do a Google for folding kayak, you'll find dozens of Boy Scout plans for how they made it. I've gone through four of them now. I'm going to take you step by step through how I made it and go through the changes I made in the plans. The first and most important change I made was I'm working with an eight foot piece of plywood. All of their plans always call for a 10. You can't find a four by 10 piece of plywood at Home Depot. And that modification made everything simpler to begin with. The first thing you need to do is go online and Google Boy Scouts of America folding kayak where you'll find many plans for how to do this. Combine that detailed information with all my pictures in this video and you'll have everything you need to make it happen. the best part of the folding kayak, the fact that it folds up for you. Allows you to close it up like this, fit it in the back of your minivan, any closet that can hold an eight foot that's tall enough for eight feet, you can shove it in there. With my little shed over here, I can fit four of them comfortably. Now we're going to take you step by step through the most exciting part, the assembly. Assembling the kayak is incredibly simple. You just have to put into two spreader bars. They, when you first start learning how to do it, it can be a little intimidating, but we're going to go through it right now. Now, if you have multiple kayaks, that means you'll have extra spreader bars. Maybe make one extra spreader bar, because I found the easiest way to start is to put one in the middle, like this. And it takes a lot of work to get it spread in. And that opens it up nice and easy, because the other ones are going to be much harder. Now, you have your stopper blocks to, make you, to keep you from going too far. You push it into the first starter block, and then I hold on to the front, put it in this far, and hammer it into place. Let's go to this side now. You're going to be scared. You're going to think it's going to rupture on you, but trust me, it's not. And there you have it. Now it actually looks like a kayak, doesn't it? Now that the spreader bars are in and they're pushed up against these stop blocks, they will stop the spreader bar from ever tilting or flopping in. You put in your seat, and now you've got a wall that stops them from ever popping out. Put this back in, you put this seat on, and you're safe to kayak knowing that your spreader bars can fall in, can fall out, because you never want your kayak to actually start folding up on you while you're on the lake. I'm going to go over a few of the modifications I made to the plans. Over here, I found it very important to add a couple flaps that I then could put a handle so that you can carry it. I also, over here, I put in an extra layer of fabric because this I found to be a weak spot right here and it will crack very easily. Going on the bottom, the whole center panel here Instead of one layer of fabric, I do the one that goes around the whole body, and then I do a second square 
right over this prime area because this is what's going to get dragged over the rocks. Now that you've finished your kayak, you're going to need a paddle. If you want the pleasure and pride of knowing you made everything soup to nuts on your own, go get yourself a one inch or I should say a half inch dowel and two paddles that I made just out of eighth inch plywood because I want a little flex. I want it to be as light as possible and bolt it on. This is a little on the tall side, uh, but I like them a little longer. Or if you want to just get the job done and get out on the water as soon as possible, you can go down to your local sporting goods shop and you can usually pick up an inexpensive one for as little as $25 like this one. And it has the added benefit of coming apart so like the rest of your kayak it folds up for easy storage. This was an awesome project. In fact, I think after 35 years of woodcraft, it's my most successful project. I enjoy it all summer long, as does my family. I appreciate you spending some time with me in my workshop, and I look forward to more YouTube videos, and please be sure to go to my website, GershwinWoodcraft.com. Thank you.